Hello, go back to time, try to play Tamer, saying my username before I say the name of the game. Welcome back to The Legend of the Matures Mask. Ha, I felt the need to say that I'm trying to play Tamer again, because I buried away. So, in this episode, we're going to go to the Great Basement Bowl on the back of the turtle. As I take a sip of tea, I'm going to tell you something. Today, very sadly, YouTube has updated to the new covered thing, the doodle. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Also, here's the gutscene of women getting tossed away. It looks like this place, like, I don't know. We'll see how different it is once we go inside. This temple, it's not exactly difficult, but it's, like, hectic. Like, same thing with the water temple and Knocking the Time. The water temple Knocking the Time is just, uh, really tedious. This one has a little bit of tedium. But, if anything, it's just really hectic, since it's, like, one minute you're doing one thing, then the next minute you're doing something else, essentially. So to get started, the first stray fairy is in this room. Uh, let's see. It's down, ooh, fairy. Give myself a third fairy. So I have deck of sticks. So let's actually. I should stop saying actually so much. Let's go light all these torches. This is gonna help with my bunny hood. Very awkward way we have to circle around stuff. Hopefully it doesn't burn out. There we go. So there's gonna be a chest that appears right in front of the toy toilet. Which of course is gonna have a first tree fairy. Music really reflects so hectic. This place is just all like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, because I'm totally good at uh, recreating music. Uh, let's combine arrows and our great fairy mask because there's a great fairy we can get from one of these. Is it that one? No. But is that it? Aha! Yes, it is. They are purple. All right. So now let's transform into the Zora. Go down, and here is number three already. Three out of fifteen. And, okay. Let's actually know somewhere we can go. It's actually a good play. <sighs> okay, I. Okay, seriously. I need to stop saying actually so many times. It really annoyed me when I was editing episode uh, Seattle team. This one word appears may say that they don't realize it. It gets really annoying. So very slowly we push that thing, and it's going to make the watcher come up. So, let's climb on up. That's where we kill the We want to wait until it's at, at the lowest of its peak, so, yeah. Kind of times that thing well, if I say so myself. Uh, from right here, the huge water wheel is powering the place. is essentially the hubby module. Parental interruption, but, uh... There is a stray fairy right there, so I can get it out right there. Yeah, there we go. So, while it's coming towards us, let's climb up this ladder. And let's see what the way it says up here. So let's smash this, and there's another stray fairy. Okay. So, huh, there's some more in this room. So, once we get in, the current's gonna whip us up. A whippy lap. So let's just go ahead and transform into a Zora and see where the current takes us. Huh. Start off by, with this uh, upper path. Take us around this area. It's all crazy lack. Oops. Uh, the dungeon map is right there, but uh, let's not uh, go up, go up, go up. Okay. Let's not allow these. Uh, skull fishes to attack us. Yes, skull fishes, I said that. Honestly, we do not really need the uh, bunny hood in this place, so let's get the dungeon map from this and the stray fairy from that. So we have some new enemies here. Urgh, Dexy hands. Uh, they don't really hurt you, they just kind of stir you up. These are just here to get in your way. So all it takes is that to kill them. So let's just continue swimming along. 
Lance is Jones, I say that kind of weird because I am drinking tea, as I said. He doesn't buy the problems again. We've seen this before. But to be able to get another stray fairy, we want to kill all of these. I don't even know where they went. Okay, there's this last one over here that we to kill. So let's get close to it. And wow, okay. Good night, please. Thank you, sir. Sir. Kind of getting in my way. Come on, is my range like not rangy enough? Sweet, man. Well, you had to jump out of sight for death, didn't you? So, here's stray fairy number six already. Actually, it was number seven because I, I think I forgot about the one in the, uh, the plot that I actually got. So yes, I'm pretty much ahead of myself. Okay, there's a bomb tree back there. Apparently, they call them real bomb trees. As you know, I follow all the guys who walk through the thing because I've already seen a couple of LPs and I look like we're watching the LPs all together. Sometimes it's, it feels kind of better to watch an LP. Walk through, even if they're if they don't really focus on humor and stuff. Hmm, let's see. That's some Dex hands down there, but as you can tell, the water's really curvy. So let's not get too close. How about we get out of this mode? Points are quick shot down. Great fairy mask on. Or great fairy mask, I always get that wrong. And have it come towards us. And as it comes towards okay, thank you. Not good anyway. I would say as it comes toward <laughs> come towards us, comes toward us. I don't know why I can't talk today. Yeah, anyway. Compass time from this. So now Now let's float to the bottom. And there's Dexy Hands that deserve to die. And I'm gonna martial art by martial art by that biotech bother. I just notice how, uh, sort of inaccurate, uh, pretty much anything as a Zora is. So now that we're done right here, let's just go around our main thing here. Let's get a small key and we can go straight down into this next place. Whoa, let's come down here a little bit to Baku. Uh, I'd appreciate if you were to die. Uh, you're not quite letting that happen, are you? Especially because you're the one that's open and not allowing me to attack you. So I believe I'm going to disregard the witches. Alright. Let's go straight here this way. No, we want to actually arrive on up. Whatever sense that means. We actually do have 8 out of 15 fairies, and that's pretty much all I want. And let's see. Can I kill this bunch of without wasting too much magic? Supposedly not. Alright, the bomb shoe would not allow me to kill it. Fine then. It's gonna be that way. Okay, let's open up this room. Got a little recovery room. So you know what's coming up. Aim in the boss. Here's a green choo choo. Get us some magic. So we're essentially full healed up. Alright. Let's get any rupees we can. It's actually a yellow choo choo right there. Yes, I know it said actually. But we can get arrows from it, so that is cool. Alright, with our items reconfigured a little bit, let's head on in. Let's see what our mini boss is. Don't seem here, but maybe he's up here. Yes, he is. I am the Great Wart! Ha ha ha! Yes, this is Wart. Shares the name with. New, not new Super Mario Bros. 2, but Super Mario Bros. 2, or Doki Panic. Not about that. So he has these little purple things. I don't even know what this purple things. So, yeah. He just wants to get rid of all the purple things, as many as he can, so that he opens up his eye and he'll allow us to attack his eye to do damage to his eye. But of course, we have to kill all the pinky purple things that become problems and hit them over to us with a quick shot. So, quick spins are definitely gonna help you. I have my blanket here for a reason. Hi, please. That, okay, thank you. You let me hit you once. So, after hitting it a couple more times, it will switch to phase two where it will just go crazy all around. And you can actually use your. <laughs> no, I know I'm like really getting aggravated for just the overuse of stuff in Word. But, let's see. I'm not gonna use my sword. 
attack. You can actually use your sword to attack. But I'm trying to get some of waves, so I can hit him without dealing with all these annoyances. That's really annoying. Alright, so after hitting it a few more times, be careful because it'll explode. Yeah. It's going to give us a chest with the dungeon item. Which are the ice arrows. Yeah. So I'm going to be using these, of course, more requiredly because they are required to be in the game because they're the dungeon item. And I didn't even show them off in Ocarina of Time because they're like optional and all of those for some reason. Yeah. So, without further ado, I'm going to end this episode off here. So, in the next episode of Let's Play the Torch Mask will be the 20th episode, 300th video special. Well, like, I'm probably just going to try to finish up before the boss. So it's probably going to be a little short, and a half hour video. But, enough rambling. See you guys next time. Until then, do not do yourself.